Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Sarah Uncut, where we're going to be talking about breakthroughs. And if you're like, what the heck is a breakthrough? Well, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It's when you are at a certain level in life. It can be in love, relationships, time, money, business, new clients, new customers. It can be any one of those things where you feel like you've just kind of hit this plateau. I love that. I love this sign. I think a lot of women know this. They hit a ceiling. Anyway, right. So it's this like you've hit this ceiling and you can't break through. That's what a breakthrough is. And if you are feeling stuck AF, this is the episode for you. I'm going to give you real life tips on what you can do to break through. I have to be honest with you. I'm about to get a little woo-woo on your assets here. Okay. I know sometimes I get woo-woo and this is going to be woo-woo if that is that you don't think love matters. So here's the thing I say all the time. We are all the same. We're not. I know we have different backgrounds. We have different racial backgrounds. We have different um, ethnic backgrounds. We have different religious backgrounds. You might have been taught something different about money. You might have been taught something different about business. You might have been taught something different about gender roles. Totally get that. That's on the outside. What's on the inside is we all need love in order to survive. And that's what I meant by woo woo, right? Because I get really practical with you guys. I'm like, nope. If this happens, this happens, right? If you have this certain life circumstance, this is what you're facing. That is still true. That is all correct and accurate. And yes, so when we say we're not all the same, I totally get that too. However, our shared humanity, which I talk to you about a lot, right? I say all the time, as I just had my melanoma surgery, right? I'm fine, all is well, yay, right? None of us is special. Any one of us can get that phone call. That's part of our shared humanity. Every one of us needs love. That is part of our shared humanity. Every one of us needs to be seen, needs to be heard, and we need to know that we matter. That is our shared humanity. And that's what I'm talking about today when I say we all have that same internal need, regardless of all of those very real outside circumstances. Internally, this is what we actually need in order to break through. So when you are feeling stuck, you are like, I cannot break this financial goal in my business. Um, I can't seem to repair my family relationships. Um, I can't seem to lose weight. I can't seem to have friends that I trust, right? We're talking about all the different areas of life where you want to break through and you're like, what in the actual hell? I can't break through this thing and it's driving me nuts. (laughs) What you need to do is actually look for where the love is. And I know that sounds crazy. I know, I understand. And all you cynical people are like, dang, that's Sarah Walton. There she goes again with her crazy talk. Let me tell you something. If you can actually stop inside the internal mind chatter of like, oh my God, I'm never going to, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, that panic that can come in when you feel stuck. If you can stop for two seconds and notice how much love you pour into your work. If you can notice how much love you poured into those that you support. If you can notice how much love you can pour into your writing, your social media, your marketing materials, the actual products or services you're providing. If you can add more love to those things, what will happen will blow your mind. And I know it sounds simplistic and like Pollyanna, it's really not. And here's an example I want you to think about. I want you to think about trying to write marketing copy, right? I'm a business coach, so we're going to talk about marketing copy. I'm a sales expert. We're going to talk about marketing copy, right? Let's say you're trying to pull at somebody to get them to buy your stuff. How well do you think that's going to go? I mean, literally, you've probably done this. I think we've all done this. Like, you need to buy this right now or your face is going to fall off or whatever all those fear tactics we've all been taught, right? Thanks, bros. This idea that if you don't scare people, if you don't create a massive amount of scarcity, if you don't put their horrific future in front of them and make them suffer, they're never going to buy, right? That will have you get stuck. Why? Well, number one, people can see through it now, right? It's like so old hat. Again, thanks, bros, right? It's just way old hat. It's like done enough already, right? We all can see through it. Secondly, it doesn't work. It might work for the purchase, right? And sometimes it can work to get people to like crack open their wallets or all those disgusting phrases people use, right? Like get separate people from their money, all that nastiness. There's no love in that. And by love, I don't mean, ooey, you're so beautiful. It's not the love I'm talking about. What I'm talking about when I talk about love, what I mean by love is 100% acceptance of the other person. It's a little radical, right? It's not ooey gooey love. I just saw Moulin Rouge, right? It's like, come what may? No, not that kind of love, right? It is like really diving into what's possible for someone else. And this you can do in relationships. You can do this with your own health. What's possible for me if I actually start loving my body? What's possible for me 
if I start looking at my business and asking what it needs, if I accept where it actually is instead of arguing with where it is, which is the opposite of being loving, right? Like get it. Like, oh, I got it. We're at this financial plateau. I see that. I don't have to argue with that. I don't even have to be pissed off about that. I can just get that. And then I can say, what do I need to add in? That's where the love is. What do I need to add into this marketing copy? So back to our example, your face is going to fall off. I only have one left. All this, the pressure, right? That bro-y type of marketing we've all been taught or seen or experienced or had done to us, which is nasty. Sorry if that's happened to you, by the way. That's one way to write that marketing. But what if you were to look at that marketing, whether it's an email campaign or a social media campaign, and you're looking at it and you go, okay, if this person decides to buy this product or service, this is what's going to be possible for them. What if I start to get excited and add in all the newness and all the joy and I start talking about what can happen if they decide to invest at this level, if they decide to invest in this little tiny beautiful thing. I have to tell you guys a huge shout out to Birch House Candles, right? I sent out some candles to some people that I love and adore this year as thank you gifts and, and happy new year gifts. And I have to tell you, there is not one single person that received them that didn't write and say, oh my God, you don't know how much I love this. I love this so much. This means so much. It's a little candle. But do you see what happens? And I said, every time you light it, remember what's possible. What a difference. Do you see what I'm saying? And I'm not saying, oh, yay, look what I did. That's not it at all. That is pouring love into a situation. That is pouring love into your relationships. That is pouring love into your people. So you're looking at the marketing copy. It can be anything from a candle to a $15,000 coaching program, anything in between that, where you look at it and go, how can I get this person to understand what a celebration this is? How can I love up on this person who's reading this copy to let them know something new is happening? Something new is possible. We as human beings, we have two things running for us all the time. One, we love new. So start to talk to people about what's new and possible, not in a tricky way, not in a sudden way, in an honest, excited way. And then for us, those of us that are selling and marketing and looking to break through, we have to contribute. That is a massive human drive. Did you know that? We have to know that we're contributing to other people. And if we don't feel that level of contribution, we start to fizzle and we get stuck. We hit that plateau. Yeah? can't break through it because you're not looking for what's possible. You're not looking for where you can contribute. And that's what I mean by adding love. When you start to look at your business, one, as its own entity, and you say, what does this business need me to do? Maybe it needs you to have more courage. Maybe it needs you to add more love. Maybe it needs you to add more excitement. Maybe it needs you to add more possibility. You can do the same thing. What does my health need me to do right now? What does my relationship need me to do right now? What do my friendships need me to do right now? If you can start to look at it that way, you can see where it's easier to pour in a little bit of love. And that might sound crazy. I'm telling you, it's not. If you are stuck, add some love. So what I want you to do at the end of this video, besides subscribe, oh yeah, baby. All right, but once you subscribe and you're all excited, you go, yay, now I know whenever Sarah Walton's gonna go live, hooray, right? You've done that, yay, good job, awesome. Right, once you've done that, is I want you to write down every area of your life where you're feeling stuck stuck. Maybe you don't have optimism anymore. It's a big one right now. People are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm recording this around the new year, right? When people are all like, yeah, new year, bye, old year, you suck. This one's going to be amazing. And deep down, there's a little voice that goes, is it though? <laughs> like maybe you've become a little cynical, right? Where can you add a little bit of love to the turning over of this year? Now, granted, it's just a calendar change, right? The day's going to go from Saturday to Sunday or whatever year you're watching this, it's going to go from Monday to Tuesday, whatever, right? The day that it's just going to keep going. And that is part of the issue, right? As people get all excited, like suddenly, you know, we're all going to have sex on the desk and just wipe everything off and everything's going to fly off. My new year! And it doesn't work that way, right? Like, no, no cleaning off of the desk here, right? Life is still happening. So instead of putting all of that, like, anticipation on the flipping of a calendar, maybe what you do is say, what could this next year do for me? And what does this next year need from me? So write down the areas of your life where you're feeling stuck and ask yourself, where can I put in more love? And it could be, like, loving up on yourself a little bit, really acknowledging and appreciating everything that you've been through over this last year. Heaven knows I had to do this. It was a year 
I wouldn't wish on anybody personally, like all the different things we had to face, right? Biggest year in my business yet. Isn't that funny how that happens, right? Biggest year in the business yet, toughest personal year ever. So I wrote down all the things we all got through as a family, as friends, as extended family, everything that we were able to get through and shine through and still accomplish. And all of a sudden, any worries about, is it really going to be a great year? All that starts to dissipate because we're actually acknowledging and pouring on the love of everything we've been able to accomplish so far. And maybe that's what you need to do too. Maybe you need to dive in there and look a little bit deeper at how freaking amazing you've already been, right? Love up on yourself a little bit too. All right, so that is my challenge for you at the end of this video besides subscribing. If this meant something to you, or you feel like you're on the cusp of a breakthrough, I would love to know about it. Go ahead and comment below. Make sure you subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next episode of Sarah Uncut.